Today on Running to Him. God declares judgment for unholiness and restoration through his promises. Today's reading is Hosea chapter 1, and we will concentrate on verses 2 and 10 or 11. Hosea 1, 2 and 10 and 11 says, When the Lord first spoke to Hosea, the Lord said to Hosea, Go and take yourself a wife of harlotry, and have children of harlotry. For the land commits a flagrant harlotry, forsaking the Lord. Yet the number of the sons of Israel will be like the lands of the sea, which cannot be measured or numbered. And the place where it is said to them, You are not my people, it will be said, You are the sons of the living God. And the sons of Judah and the sons of Israel will be gathered together, and they will appoint them for themselves one leader, and they will go up from the land, for great will be the day of Jezreel. Now Hosea is a book of contrasts. On the one hand, Hosea prophesies judgment on the northern kingdom of Israel. Yet, on the other hand, he declares the ultimate restoration and glory for the nation of Jews who follow him. This fact created great distress among many commentators, and this contrast begins with God requiring Hosea to marry a prostitute. Theodore of Mopsueste writes, In fact, while everyone could not be but surprised that a man who is very conscious of propriety should pass over women who enjoyed a good reputation and chose to take a prostitute into the marriage relationship, the novelty of the event provided the prophet with the occasion of telling them their duty, and in addition to demonstrating the greater marvel of God's condescending to choose such ungrateful men for special attention by the powerful example, namely, the remarkable prophet's doing his duty by entering into association with a prostitute. We pause just for a moment, and we must reflect on the times that God ordered his prophets, and sometimes just plain followers, to do something out of the ordinary. For example, God told Isaiah to walk naked and barefoot for three years. See Isaiah 20, verses 1 through 6. And this was a picture of the prophecy picturing the Egyptian defeat, Israel's ally by Assyria. In Ezekiel chapter 4, God commands that Ezekiel wage war against a brick while laying on his side. We cannot expect that kind of strange behavior with every prophecy. Still, when a man or woman of God, who has and is living a consistent walk with Christ, is told by God to do something out of the ordinary, we should evaluate the activity based on that person's life, not that they act in a manner inconsistent with normality. Hosea's wife, daughter, and two sons are a picture of the reality of Israel's actions and judgment. When we sin, our lives will reflect that sin. That sin will consume us until we repent and submit our lives and bodies to God. God is a God of redemption. Therefore, through Hosea, we will see judgment of sin and the restoration through grace. Thank you for listening. We pray that today's devotion was meaningful to you. We would love to hear from you. You can use either Facebook or YouTube to like, subscribe, share, and tell others about us. If you would like to contact us, you can reach me at PhineasJacobus at runningtohim.net.